Welcome back into Rouse's. We got the loaf master, Chef Nino, with us today. What's going on, Nino? We're going to make New Orleans style crawfish bread using our uh, Rouse's French you bread. Be careful where you're swinging that loaf of bread. And, and, and mayonnaise. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Yes. Okay. This is a good recipe. You're going to absolutely love it. Now, the mix, the crawfish mixture with the cheese and the peppers, onions, and all of that, uh, you can also bread, but also some pasta. Bread or pasta. All right. Good okay. to know. Yeah. Or, hold on, I'm not done. Okay. How about getting a nice piece of filet mignon or ribeye, sear it, and put that cr cheesy crawfish mixture on top? Sure. Yeah, that's a, that would be a great way to add a little bit of different flavor to your steak. Don't be mistaken. All right. So what are the ingredients we have to work with here today? I appreciate if you laugh at my material. <laughs> There you go. Oh, you're good. All right, we uh, we're gonna turn that heat back on, and uh, so you want to brown that butter. Okay, I'm just joking. I left it on too too long. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put our multi-colored bell peppers. We're gonna put our onion, and right now Vidal Vidalia are in season. The sweetest onion, amazing. This is a masterpiece. It really is. I'll keep yeah. that in mind. And but when they're gone, they're gone. They're about another month. All right, so buy 10 or 12 pounds and don't refrigerate it. How you buy the fruit or vegetable in the store, that's how you should keep it at your house. That's a good tip. I think a lot of people get confused by that. Yeah, yeah. Good thought there. Yeah. So look, we're gonna go ahead and let this brown. And while that's browning, I wanna tell you some other ingredients in our lineup. Well, let me put some Chef Nino's Cajun uh, hold on, two more. Adds so much flavor to everything, y'all. You got to try it out if you haven't already. Chef Nino's Cajun Adrenaline Season. Yeah, because occasionally you might want a little flair in your life. How about that, huh? Look at cameraman. Hey, who's your chef? Oh, okay. All right. There we are. Okay, now we are going to put in just a minute. We're going to cut some cheese. I have uh, provolone, provolone cheese. Mozzarella, we have uh, cheddar and the Velveeta. We're gonna chop that up uh, after we put our crawfish. Really, this is a simple recipe. It All cooks right. in just minutes. And we're gonna put some mayo. Uh, uh, some mayonnaise? Yes, sir. All right, so if you have always been wondering in your life who cut the cheese, the answer is Chef Nino. We'll be right back. <laughs> I get paid to do that. Welcome back into Rouse's in Westmobile alongside Chef Nino. We have got the, the Cajun smells all coming together here. Mm, mm, I wish I was here. Yeah, me oh. too, man. Uh, Mentally and physically. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, uh, okay, all right. This, you know. Yeah, okay. Um, we are making the base for our the New Orleans style crawfish bread. Uh, Multicolored bell peppers, onion, garlic, sauteed in butter with some uh, adrenaline Cajun seasoning. When would you serve this? Is this an entree? Is this a hors d'oeuvre? What is this? More of an appetizer. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah, people yeah. sitting around waiting on you, have a couple of drinks. If, yeah. Uh, I'm not saying I do or don't, I'm just sure. saying. Yeah. And they're like, do you have any New Orleans crawfish bread? Yeah. And we're like, hey, how are you? There's a, there's a fan. Hi. All right. Hi. You know what? The smell probably drew oh, yeah. her over. Oh, yeah, definitely. She man. didn't know when to serve it, so she wanted to come get a closer look. That's right. Yeah. Now let's put in our Louisiana crawfish tails with the fat. Oh, my goodness. The fat is where it's at. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the fat is where it's at. That's that's what we're doing right now. Yes. All right. Okay. We're going to let them crawfish cook just for a couple of minutes. While that's cooking, um, you know, we could pause and, like, take breaks and make edits, but what fun would that be, you know? That's, <laughs> what were we saying? Okay, all right. So, look, we're going to go ahead and... Um, Cut the cheese? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't like to admit that. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so we have our mozzarella, we have our provolone, we have our cheddar, and our Velveeta. And I just kind of stack it up, right? All right, pick a card. <laughs> All right. We got, uh, no one stacks cheddar better than Chef Nino. Cheddar Nina. better, I like that. Yep. It's not easy cutting the cheese. <laughs> and um, really, be careful. You might not want to stack it up so much, okay? Now watch this. Mm. Still watching. Mm. Haven't stopped watching. That's right. Stay tuned. Mm. 
Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. That was close. Now watch, watch this, y'all. You ready? Yeah. You can't make this up, folks. One of our best segments ever. Yes. Yep. Uh, our last segment ever. That is a lot of cheese going in there, man. Oh, but hold on. You're gonna, you're gonna see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. All right. Yep. Now we're gonna let this melt. It, it really a miracle is gonna happen. You're gonna see the magic of this here appearing. Just do yourself a favor. When you put the spoon in there, <laughs> make sure it's not with the heat. This is hot. All right. uh, that's, that's enough for this one. We gotta come back. We'll finish it up in our next segment with Chelsea. She's coming in to see all this. It's come all right, back. So, you know. Welcome back to the kitchen. We are. <laughs> Unloading the mayonnaise. We are unloading, that's right. So if you're just watching, we sauteed our multicolored bell pepper and uh, some butter with some onions and we put our crawfish, then we put our four cheeses, mm -hmm. um, then we put our, um, the, the last ingredient mayonnaise. in. Yes, ma'am. We were making fun, not making fun. Yeah. We were having fun about the way you say mayonnaise, which yeah. is mayonnaise. Yeah. That's all right. You're just very articulate with your words. I'm original. You are very yeah. original. Okay, folks, this is, oh my goodness. So I cut my French bread in half, baked it for a couple of minutes so it's not so soggy, okay? And you want to do it kind of over stuff. That's my style. Okay, New Orleans style crawfish bread. I, this is an OG Chef Nino recipe. Mm. He has made this once before, but it's been a couple years. Yeah. Um, and we actually made this at home. It's so delicious. So we're gonna put it in the oven and with the magic of TV, watch this. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> Look at that. Wow. Can we switch places? Let me get my, uh, Okay, you don't mind if we switch places? Okay, I'm Chelsea. I'm Shafino. <laughs> Gallop around or whatever Come you on, do. I'm trying, I'm trying to hurry. They put me on a deadline, okay? All right. So, here we are here. Oh, my goodness gracious okay. sake. Oh, yes. Come on. Oh, oh that's all right. <laughs> I'm professional. <laughs> don't try this at your house. Mm. So yummy. So, so yummy. Mm -hmm. This is a great um, appetizer if you're hosting. I'm going to have to make, will you cut me a smaller piece than that? Sure. Okay. So you can also get, like our camera guy said, uh, Mr. Uh, he said, <laughs> get some pistolets, cut them in half for appetizers, kind of a more, do you need help? I got it. Do you need help? Yeah. It's ever since the incident. Folks, this is really a great recipe. Uh, New Orleans style crawfish bread. Uh, she made the mess, not me. But anyway. Rich and creamy mm. and delicious in New Orleans. Man. And Randy, you can even do some nachos. Mm. Yeah. I'm trying to give you some. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll be back later on this week, sometime next week, with another Chef Nino recipe. Thank you for watching. See you at one of the Rouses.